Hello and welcome to another episode. Um, this is just an update on where I am with my 12 volt battery problem. Um, I've actually had it swapped. Um, it went in for diagnosis last Wednesday in which you have to leave it overnight for them to f fully charge it on a separate battery charger and then they do all their tests which they did on Thursday and then um, they'd agreed that it was broken beyond repair so they ordered another one uh, for next day delivery. Um, I popped down to try and retrieve my car um, but I found that I, I couldn't jump start it. Um, when you, it wouldn't pop the handles on the key, it was that flat so I had to use the manual key and as soon as the manual key went in it set off the intrusion alarm um, which is just the way these flipping cars work so you can't turn that off. Uh, and that helped flatten the battery even more and then by the time I got the vehicle to load adapter in to boost the 12 volts um, my battery booster pack was getting quite low um, but I did get it to start to charge the 12 volt battery and I thought I'd be clever by trying to turn it on with the uh, vehicle to load adapter plugged in and it came on and seemed to be on correctly um, and then I locked and unlocked the car and pulled out the vehicle to load it after and then I got the error, um, 12 volt uh, error, just like it had been before. So you can't cheat that way. So if I'd left it maybe 10 minutes, I would have got it back. But anyway, uh, I had to leave it overnight on Thursday. So um, they managed to fit in changing the 12 volt battery by the end of the day, uh, late on, on Friday afternoon. Then I got it back and all is good. Um, so I just like to go over a few things that I've learnt during this last few weeks and what might have caused it. Um, this happened the week after, I mean the Tuesday after I went to fully charge on, on previous Friday and the week before it had been in for the, the battery update and to have the lock uh, mechanism and stuff replaced in the door. And during that day you can see on the app um, when they're working on the car and you, you get do a refresh you see it tells you the doors open on the car and whether the boots open so you get the bonnet an animated bonnet see that's open there no, it's, it's the wrong way around because everybody thinks we're driving on the other side um, or the boot opens it'll tell you it also sends a telematics message to Kia Connect uh, so again, whilst they're working on the car, if it's switched off, it's doing all these things, which is helping to drain the 12 volt battery if the car's not switched on. And since they were working on it a couple, of, a good couple of hours with the car switched off, I think they may have inadvertently triggered the 12 volt battery problem. Now, I've been measuring with battery monitor um, the usage. I mean, currently the car's on, and it's charging at 14.4 volts. But if I start doing things with the car off, like opening the bonnet and leaving it open, or opening the boot, which takes power, and just leaving it open, you'll see that this very quickly starts to go down. So if I turn the car off, Notice I've got my Motorola plugged in and I've got my uh, ride cam also on and in. Um, if the car's off and that's plugged in, that's also draining power and helping the 12 volt battery go into a dip. You notice that uh, Notice that it, this will gradually go down. I've got the BM2 battery monitor plugged into the battery. Also, if you open the door, the binnacle display is on, even though the car's shut down. 
it'll still display that. Also the sunroof's open. And the motor roll is still powered on, despite, despite the car being powered down. If I also open the bonnet, Notice that the uh, binnacle's lit up, so that's providing power for that. So that's also draining the 12 volt. And if you watch it, it was at 12.54, it's now gone to 12.51, 12.50. And the motor roll was still powered on after 2 minutes 30. Also, you receive um, Kia Connect messages saying that the car's open, so that's training the battery, 12 volt battery, even more. The only way that the technicians can avoid this, I, I guess, is to unplug the 12 volt battery, disconnect it whilst they're working on it. And we're up to three minutes twenty. And we've still got the motor roller on, drawing power, and we're down to 93 percent on the 12 volts. Now if I open the, the, the boot as well, that takes a chunk. We're at five minutes and the motor roll has still not gone off. And the 12 volts down to 12.38 volts, 93% state of charge. This is not going anywhere near as quick as the old knackered battery was doing. Um, it would it would dip, it would have gone by now if I'd left the, the bonnet and the boot open at the same time, and the motor roller plugged in. But we're at 93%. Also notice they put a slightly upgraded battery in compared to the one. Uh, it's got more amp hours on it than the previous one. Not much, but it, I think it's probably better. And it's got a three-year warranty. I think we have one out of two. Not 100% not sure. And we're up to six and a half minutes and motor roll is still on. At just over nine minutes, the, the motor roller went off. So that's the point of when the USB goes off. So it's on a whole nine minutes after you turn the car off. And walk away. So that's not helping. Also there's a, a Kia Connect message saying um, the bonnet's open, the boot's open, the door's open. So again, more back 12 volt battery. And after, after Kia Connect sent its message, it's now dipped from 91% to 89% state of charge, 12 and a half volts. Strangely it seems to be creeping back up, so maybe it's sorting itself out. So in this case, I think the VCMS has actually kicked in. It's the vehicle charging management system, which is supposed to keep control of the 12 volt battery's voltage. As you can see, it's, it's easy to just make it dip from uh, nearly 100% down to 89% without doing a lot. If I close the boot now, taken a chunk. Strange thing is, after all this testing, um, you, you can see that the voltage has started to, to go up again. So I could hear relays clicking in the boot as well, or under the back seat, which suggests that the charging system is is trickle charging it back up. 
but I'd still advise not leaving your doors and bonnet open for too long. Um, I mean, 10 minutes, maybe the maximum, I, I, would, I would risk leaving it open. But also, if your 12 volt battery is getting on and a bit weak, then you would see the issues earlier. To take Kia Connect offline, stroke left from the front screen, then Kia Connect, then uh, Kia Connect settings, and then scroll down to offline mode. And you just check that box there, and that will take it offline. And then once they finish working on the car, just uncheck that box and it will go back online. Anyway, that's that's in recovery mode and the car's not even on. So that's the way it should be working. So maybe it's just a faulty battery at the end of the day, I just don't know. I know if I had the boot open when the battery was playing up, it, it would just sink in a heap. And I've, I've, I'm, people have left messages on my previous video saying, oh, I'll leave my boot open all the time, no problem. And this would appear to agree with that. But if your battery's knackered or broken, then it behaves in a completely different fashion. Anyway, I've tried to answer this uh, by figuring out what's wrong and I don't know if I have. <laughs> Thanks for watching.